Hey, this is Susie J. Cobwebs, and I'd like to do an establishment review. So I went to Monroeville Mall yesterday, and I decided that I was going to go to Charlie's Philly Steak and Cheese Restaurant. You know, I always like to find the positive side of things whenever I go out to different restaurants, and I thought I would make it a point to go out to dinner. So, once I walked around the mall and, you know, you got your um, empty belly and you're going to go and try to find something, I go into the food court. So, I decided that Charlie's Philly Steak is where I wanted to go. So, as I was looking at the menu, and there is many different things that you could get, so I decided that I was going to get the chicken teriyaki with all the fixings, you know, with the mayonnaise and the lettuce and tomato and the pickles and the uh, grilled onions, peppers, all nine yards, and then fries. And so they were very pleasant with me. We got through the line very quickly and I got my meal very quickly. So I was really appreciative of that. And when I sat down and I got some ketchup and sat down and enjoyed my meal, I realized that I liked the french fries. Yes, they were really good french fries. Not too hard, but not too soft. And they were great with the ketchup. Now on the sandwich, I'm not saying that the sandwich wasn't bad. It was edible. However, whenever I ask for a chicken teriyaki sandwich, you would think that you would have a little bit more teriyaki taste into the sandwich. And the chicken seemed a little bit bland to me. And if, if I didn't know any better, it just seemed like the grilled onions took over the whole hoagie sandwich. I'm not saying that that's a bad thing because I do like grilled onions, but the fact of it was supposed to be a chicken teriyaki sandwich, you would think that you would get more of the, the aroma and the texture, everything, and the taste of the teriyaki. It was good and they were helpful when I got up and got the, my meal. Um, I would try to maybe go back at another day. Maybe they were busy. Maybe they had, were shortage of, maybe they had shortage of staff or whatever the case may be. Because we all know during COVID that really put a damper on a lot of the businesses, not only business, but also these fast food restaurants. So I'm still going to give them a thumbs up. So if you like these videos and you want to see more of these videos, by all means, hit that like button and hit that subscribe button and hit that post notification button so you can stay on top of all the different things that I post. And to the next time, love you bunches!